Hello, welcome back to Mentor's Compass. I'm Alex Berté, glad to have you with us. Now today our topic is how to teach your son or mentee to better live the virtue of order. Now we've all been there ourselves, and if you've got kids, you've seen it, teachers, I know you've experienced it in the classroom. Every boy has moments when they can't find their shoe, when they swear they left their book right there and now it's gone, or when they did their homework and it was in their folder but somehow it got taken out. Deadlines have suddenly appeared out of nowhere and stress has just built up because life at the moment seems overwhelming. Well, these are all good reasons for why as parents and mentors you should help your son or mentee grow in the virtue of order, you know, to mitigate some of these issues. Now there are different kinds of order that you can talk about to your son or mentee. The examples I just referenced relate to material order, keeping your things organized, order with your stuff, uh, putting each item in its place after use, or even getting rid of excess, right? You can have order in that sense as well. Now there's also living order with your time, AKA time management. When you wake up, when you go to bed, being punctual, uh, giving yourself enough time to get ready, I struggle with that one, uh, or for travel, scheduling, planning ahead, those are all examples of order with your time. Uh, there's also order in your priorities. You know, it's knowing what's most important, what's most important for today, or bigger picture, just what's most important in life, right? And dedicating the right amount of time to, uh, you know, that, that corresponds to each thing, right? In the right order, putting things in the right place. Uh, and finally, there's interior order, right? That's uh, the tranquility and wholeness that you feel in your soul from knowing that you're living your life with the right order. Right? that you're putting God, relationships, and work in their proper place in your life. Now today, let's focus on one of the more practical aspects of order, and that's prioritizing. Right? How to prioritize. Now the older you get, the more you have to keep track of, the more you're responsible for. Homework, projects, applications, part-time jobs, games, tryouts, auditions, party invites, social demands, etc. Right? The demands only go up as you get older. Now a common error among boys is to try to keep all this information in their head, which I'm sure you know from experience can work for a little while, but eventually it can be disastrous. Uh, or they might try to tackle their various to-dos with enthusiasm, but without a strategy for doing what's most important and pressing first and instead focusing too much time and attention on things that are secondary. So uh, to address these ends, I recommend teaching your son or mentee the following four steps. Number one, encourage him to make a list. Tell him to take time to keep a master list of every task, deliverable, event, important date, etc. that he's got on his mind and to put that list in written form in some central location. So he might use a notebook or a journal or a notepad to do this. And this is gonna help him externalize everything that's swimming around in his head and free up whatever energy he's expending on remembering it all so he can put it elsewhere. Now, if your son or mentee did just this, that would be a huge success. Number two, show him how to create a priorities matrix. A priorities matrix has four quadrants. One quadrant is labeled urgent and important. Another is labeled not urgent, but important. A third is labeled not urgent and not important. And the last one is labeled urgent, but not important. You see where I'm going with this? Some things need to get done right away and they really matter. Others are really important, but the deadlines are a little ways off. Some tasks need to get done right away, but they're not a huge deal, but nonetheless, they need to get done. And lastly, there are things you might want to do, but they're neither important or pressing. Right? So once your son or mentee has done this, right, once he's created his priorities matrix, or at least set up a quadrant, have him go through his master list and categorize each task into one of those four quadrants. This is gonna force him to prioritize his life, to take command, Right? It's going to serve as a visual reminder for him whenever he looks at it for what's most important and what needs to be done now and what can wait. Now, he might need some trial and error as, uh, with regard to you know, mechanics of it or how to set it up. You know, it's going to take some time to find a system that works for him. 
But some ideas you might suggest, right? He could have this all written in a notebook and he can pencil, item in, uh, pencil items in, excuse me, into one of the appropriate quadrants. Or uh, you might have a cork board and write things down on index cards and just shift them around to the appropriate spot. Now the big lesson here is that time is finite. Time is precious. And boys need to know that once they give their time away, they can never get it back. Right? So it's important that they learn early on that important lesson. You can do it all, but you can't do it all right now. So let's order your efforts accordingly. Number three. Encourage him to set aside 10 to 15 minutes each night to review his list, add or cross things off as necessary, reorder his matrix as needed, and then plan out the next day, week, weeks, etc. Right, so this nightly planning time is key. It can be hard to do, right? but if he does it, most likely he'll go to sleep with peace of mind knowing that he's ready to conquer the day tomorrow, right? to hit the ground running when he returns home or starts his weekend, or when he gets into study hall, or whatever it is, as opposed to figuring out what he's supposed to do on the day of, or just being reactive to whatever's in front of him. And number four, building off our last point, help him to make a schedule, to get in the habit for making a schedule for the next day. All right, so have him carve out blocks of time that are dedicated to specific activities, work, study, prayer, family time, meals, leisure, entertainment, etc. It takes discipline to stick to it, but a good routine leads to successful outcomes. Now we've all lamented at one point or another that we just don't have enough time. And you know what? It's probably true. But we also probably have more time than we think. And that's what you can help your son or mentee with. Be patient, be understanding, be encouraging. Remember what you were like at his age and help him little by little to learn how to prioritize the ongoings of his life. In time, if he sticks with his plan, if he puts his whole heart into what he's doing, when he's scheduled the time to do it, he's gonna get more done in less time and he's gonna feel better for it. So that's all the time we have for today. As always, be sure to print out the PDF that goes with this video uh, to put this week's lesson into practice. So thank you so much for joining us here at Mentors Compass. I'm Alex Berte, see you next week.